Panorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. Well, I'm sure this scenario has happened to you a time or two. You leave the house, you decide you're going to travel light, you take your one lens, in this case a telephoto. Why? Because you're going down to the flower parks, okay, and you're going to take pictures of flowers. It's a great lens choice. I would commend that highly. However, then you get down there and you get up to that flower that you want to take a picture of so bad and you find out, what? My lens won't focus as close as I need it to. I should have brought the macro. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson and you're watching Adorama TV. I'm here in beautiful New York City. Came across a little flower bed here. Wanted to take a nice picture of a simple day lily, but I can't do it. I got too much lens. I can't focus as close as I'd like to focus. So what's the solution? Whip out my 105 macro, but remember, I want to travel light. So, fortunately, a couple years ago, I picked up one of these. One of these is a Canon 500D close-up filter. What it does, optically, it fits right in front of my 70-300 Nikkor, and now I can do exactly what I would normally do with 105 millimeter macro, but without the extra weight. I can now photograph this day lily close up. Let's take a look at that first photograph that I could not shoot, and as you can clearly see, it's out of focus. Now, with the Canon 500D, I get in really close and take that picture that I've always dreamed of taking because of the Canon 500D close-up filter. It's an inexpensive way to leave the house with your telephoto and with a macro lens, yet the fact is it just fits on front of that telephoto lens acting like a macro lens does, meaning you can focus much, much closer. Something to do, inexpensive shirts, sure about 150 bucks, depending upon the filter size. Compare that to a thousand dollar macro, this is a wise choice. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.